going on? Diamond Rice here coming at you with another video. In today's video, we have a tutorial. This tutorial is on FUBAR 2000, which is pretty much uh, a Swiss Army knife of music player on Windows. Now, obviously, you heard a video, uh, the video VLC media player from Think, as that's the Swiss Army version of the video player. Well, FUBAR is basically another version of it. It's definitely one of my favorite audio players to use. And we're going to we're gonna use this with a theme of mine that I use, which is called Fusion. Now, the, the developer of this particular uh, theme has discontinued his account on this particular DeviantArt uh DeviantArt website, so I will have the files to the downloads of this particular uh, instructions for this uh, particular files. Now, you, obviously, you need FooBar, so foo, obviously install FooBar from uh, from the FooBar uh, website, and then you need two other components that are required down here in the uh, left hand side: uh, the WSH panel mod and the UI hacks mod. Now, these particular mods are uh, easy, fairly easy to install. Um, they go into two components two places inside of your uh, inside of the actual foobar installation which will be under x86 of the program files now obviously if you run a 32-bit version of windows which most people shouldn't be running uh, you will find it just under program files but since i'm running 64-bit windows it's under uh, x86 of the program files so under here you your this is the main uh, main program files of uh, foobar under components in here is where you're going to be installing the two particular mods, the UI hacks and the panel mod. Now, the panel mod could be installed as a component file as well, but obviously I f my easy way to do it is through the actual panel mod. So, uh, these, like I said, these files will be under there. In theory, all you need is the .dll DLL and then the API files, but I just copy everything and then just transfer it into the folder. So obviously just copy and paste. I'm not going to do it because I have it installed already, but you get the idea. Copy and paste it into the components folder of FooBar. Uh, the UI hacks, same thing. Just go open the folder, extract it using, you know, pzip, 7-zip, whatever you like to use as your extraction service. Uh, under here, same thing. Uh, you don't need the text file. You can definitely just use the DLL and the JS file or the JavaScript file. Put those in the same place as components. Now, once those two components are actually installed, you can also now go into the actual folder of Fusion, and there will be uh, in there's an installation guide. There's some main keys you can look at. Obviously, under themes, this particular folder has two folders in it. It has the has the actual Fusion, uh, has the FUBAR theme here and then a Fusion folder. Copy both of those into the FUBAR folder themes. So under if you're under FUBAR 2000, go under themes and copy and paste it into this particular location. Now, once the, all that is being installed, just go under your FUBAR. Uh, this should be how your FUBAR gets set up unless you have a different theme or something. I would advise that you reset your uh, configuration settings if, you, uh, if, you want, if you're coming from an, an older version of a theme or so so under you can go any way you can do this go config go to somehow go to preferences or configure a library whatever you can see now to verify that the mods have been installed look under the components section of foobar in, in the components section you will see that i have the wh panel mod here and also the ui hacks mod so obviously everything should be okay um if you're running any version of the wh panel mod make sure that under tools and you go under the wh panel mod that the safe mode is actually un is actually going to be uh, unchecked um this will just prevent itself from obviously applying anything or whatnot uh you need to do a quick restart of foobar so obviously i'll quick reset and uh, once my foobar gets opened up again, go back to the same place, go back to preferences, but this time you want to go to display and go down, click down the drop down menu, go under the default user interface, and then over here where it says import theme, import theme, you and then you locate the particular file of the foobar theme of Fusion. So go under here, go to foobar, go to the themes, and then click under here where Fusion is, click on it, and in theory, Everything should be set up. You'll see selections to import, and that's it. You're good to go. And as you can see, it looks like kind of a Windows, kind of a Windows, uh, Microsoft Zune thing back in the day, or you know the music players and a couple years ago from so. So this is a very good modernized look of an actual uh, theme uh, as an actual FUBAR theme. Um, I like it. It's very customizable. You can go under the menu in the top right hand corner where you see my screen and just basically go under settings and then configure it however you want the panels, the themes. Um, I'll put in, I guess I'll put in the right panel, whatever the right panel is, info section. Um, 
you can basically just do anything in here. You can change the theme to dark theme, which would be much better than what you normally would have. So honestly, I like this one better. And then uh, here I'll go for like a teal color or something as an example. So hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial. This is just for installing a FUBAR theme. Um, in theory, this is pretty much all you can do uh, for theme-wise at least. Most of the other FUBAR uh, themes, skins basically run the same way. or run, The installation runs the same way. So you can use this on any other FUBAR theme. I just use it on Fusion because this is my particular one that I love to use. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. I will see you in the next one. And hit me up on Twitter if you do need other help as well, or in down in the comment and down in the comment section. So hope to see you guys soon. Later.